Rihad Zorge, a name less familiar in mainstream history, yet pivotal in the landscape of espionage, stands out as the paragon of intelligence gathering during World War II. His story, often overshadowed by more prominent figures of the era, weaves a fascinating tale of intrigue, loyalty, and the fine line between heroism and treason. Born on the 4th of October 1985 in Azerbaijan, then part of the Russian Empire, Zogi was the son of a German mining engineer and a Russian mother. He spent his early years in Baku before moving to Germany in 1911. His upbringing in diverse cultures equipped him with an understanding of different perspectives, a skill that would later become invaluable in his espionage activities. Zogi was on the German side in the First World War an experience that left him both physically and mentally scarred. The horrors of war, coupled with the post-war socio-political turmoil in Germany, led to his deep disillusionment with the capitalist system. This disillusionment eventually drew him towards the communist ideology, and by the late 1920s, Zorgi had become a committed member of the Communist Party of Germany. His intelligence career began in earnest when he was recruited by the Soviet Union's intelligence agency, later known as the GRU. Zorgi's first major assignment was in China, where he gathered information on the political situation and Japanese military movements. His ability to blend in, thanks to his German background, and his linguistic skills, he spoke German, Russian and English fluently, made him an effective spy. However, it was his assignment in Japan that marked the pinnacle of his espionage career. Posing as a German journalist, Zogi built a network of informants and gained access to high-level political and military circles. His most significant contribution came in 1941, when he provided the Soviet Union with the information that Japan would not attack Siberia, allowing the Soviet Union to transfer troops from the Far Eastern Front to the Western Front against Nazi Germany. Zogi's intelligence was pivotal in the Battle of Moscow, where the Soviet Union achieved a decisive victory against the Nazis. This victory not only marked a turning point in World War II, but also saved Moscow from falling into Nazi hands. Despite his successes, Zogi's operation came to an abrupt end in 1941, when he was arrested by the Japanese authorities. His true identity as a Soviet spy was uncovered, and after a prolonged period of imprisonment and interrogation, he was executed in 1944. Rihard Zogi's legacy is complex. In Russia, he is hailed as a hero, a master spy who made significant contributions to the Soviet war effort. In Germany and Japan, his actions are viewed through a more nuanced lens, balancing between acknowledging his skills and condemning his betrayals. In the United States, Zogi's story serves as a compelling chapter in the broader narrative of World War II espionage illustrating the global nature of the conflict and the intricate web of intelligence operations that underpinned it. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the past. If you found this video enlightening and want to explore more fascinating stories from history, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, keep delving into the mysteries of history and uncovering the stories that have shaped our world.